This is the reinstated night staircase at Furness Abbey. The abbey was founded on this site in 1127 by a community of monks from Savigny, a monastery in Normandy. They had spent the previous three years from 1124 at Tulketh near Preston. The rebuilding of the night stairs in the space of the original allows visitors to follow in the footsteps of an important daily ritual in the lives of the monks of Furness. The original stairs were used by monks over many centuries. Sometime between midnight and 2am they filed down from their dormitory into the dark church to sing matins, an early morning service which was the first of eight services throughout their day. Their dormitory ran the length of the East Range at first floor level. For many centuries the lower part of the stairs was missing, probably destroyed during Henry VIII's dissolution of the monastery. But during recent work to improve access for all visitors to Furness Abbey, the night stairs have been reinstated and a timber structure now meets the stone steps in the archway. The new viewing platform at first floor level provides access to the monks dormitory for the first time and it gives previously unseen views of the historic remains. <laughs> this staircase was only used at night. The outline of the monk's day stair can still be seen against the wall of the East Range with the doorway to the dormitory at the top. These stairs led up from the warming house where a fire was kept burning from All Saints Day until Good Friday so that monks might keep warm in the winter months. There was a similar dormitory at first floor level over the West Range for lay brothers as they also attended night services. The remains of their night stairs are less prominent but can still be seen at the west end of the nave. This film is not the only story that can be told of the night staircase at Furness Abbey. This photograph is called A Vista, Furness Abbey and was taken on the night stair in 1860 by Victorian photographer Roger Fenton. He was one of the most famous and accomplished landscape and architectural photographers of his time. People often appeared in such photographs of the period just to give a sense of scale to the architecture. This therefore is an unusual photograph in that it uses Furness Abbey not as the subject of but merely as a setting for a photograph of people. A Vista, Furness Abbey is part two of the Night Stair film, a longer film telling the story of Roger Fenton, his visit to Furness and how this unique photograph may have come to be.